Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me, very excited to have you here because I'm going to share with you some really cool licks and tricks in the key of G that have been used by many of the great players we know and love. So we only need four chords for this guys, a G, an E minor, a C and a D. We're going to play a little lick after each one of them and at the end we're going to have a really nice chord progression to practice. This works great as a practice routine because we build muscle memory uh, with all these little licks and tricks whilst playing uh, a chord progression. Uh, that's, that just sounds nice. So let's kick it off with the very first one, right? We've got a G, we're going to strum it, and then we're going to do a little a little slap like this. Now what I like to do is I like to get my pick on the, the, the top string. So I still get that, the bass kind of ringing out. We stop the strings, and then we play a little like. Now the first one's going to go like this. All right, and this is just taken right out of the G major scale or the open E scale. Um, they're both the same. So we've got... Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm barring uh, the bottom two strings. Okay, the B and the E on the third fret. And I'm hammering on my third finger onto five. And then I'm getting um, back to three, three on the B and E again. And then... I'm getting five on the uh, on the G. That's taken right out of the, the G major scale. All right. So I love this little double stop here. We've got our index finger on G, um, the G string, sorry, on fret two, and our middle finger on fret, fret three on the B. And we're again getting the G and B strings together and hammer on four on the G string from two to four third finger and then off again all right so we get and then I'm going to get five here on the D string we can get that with our pinky or our third finger whatever way is easier for you so we get this okay again or we can strum it Again. And that's going to bring us nicely into the E minor chord where we're just going to get the low E string, get right into the E minor, strum down, and a little boom. Again. And then. The lick. The lick that I must have played. Okay, I guess it's, it's maybe over a hundred times now on this channel, but it never gets sold, right? Um, we're taking our middle finger from two to four, three on the B and then back from 42 on the G. Open, and then two on the D. All right, and you know that's like, I guess is used by many folk. Uh, you know, we've got the You know, and so many more as well. So Pink Floyd, the first one's a very Hendrixy kind of move, uh, which you, you hear from like John Mayer and, and the likes all the time as well. So we've got like a John Mayer Hendrix like to start off with, then a Pink Floyd one here. Okay. So let's take that from the top. All right, now we land here. On the second fret, uh, we want to then go in to our C chord, right? Just leave our middle finger where it is, put third finger on the uh, the A string and first finger on the B. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this little... This little move here, right? So we're going to go the A twice. Boom. Then the D. Then again. A, E, D, D. Right, and then back to the D, and then we're hammering on to two on the G with our middle finger, and also getting the B as a double stop. All right, and then I'm going to slide up.
And this lick is very much inspired by Snow from, um, by John Frusciante. So, if you know that song, you've tried that song, then you'll have, you'll have felt some uh, frustration and pain for sure. But this is... And what's happened here is we're basically uh, taking the C shape for D here, and we're playing the top three this little triad here, we're going five, five, four, four, two. Now you don't need to play like this. Um, I'm, I find it easy to do that. With those fingers, but you can just do five, five, four. Take that finger off. Four, two, back to four on the D, and then a little hammer on between two and four. Hammer on, pull off on the G string. Four on the uh, the D. So five, five, four, four, two, back to four. Hammer on, pull off, four on the D, then back to two. Like that. So that's our four legs. Let's hear how they all sound together. And there you have it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I hope you used those licks and have fun with them. If you did, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.